Hello everybody, um, if you are viewing this video, it means that you're probably already accessing our website and the details of how we're doing the admissions um, and the arrangements where we show you information about the academy. I'm going to now present probably for about 10 minutes, uh, just some basic things around our culture and ethos. And obviously you can also access our virtual tour video, which is also available on our website, which is alongside the link for this particular presentation. Right, so first of all, I just want to say thank you, because I think it's really important that I acknowledge that, um, uh, that you're considering it as a destination for your child moving from year six to seven. We can appreciate these are quite some big decisions, um, so we want to give you as much information as possible. And the reason that is because your choice is really important. Um, parental choice and preference is something that should be promoted, and we'd like to support you with that so you can make a really informed decision as you move to look to move your child to secondary school. Something I want you to have some security on is the decision making we make in the building, um, because these are always student orientated. We always ask staff to consider whatever decision that is being made, whether that's going to be the best possible one for the students, uh, whether that's their academic outcomes or their development as a child all round. This could be something basically to do with timetabling or day-to-day -day protocols, but it also applies to bigger strategic decisions or financial-based decisions that are important to the academy as we move forward. And we do it because we want to have all of the students to have as many doors possible open to them, but to access those doors, they need the keys. Now the keys are in this case is the currency of grades and outcomes, but also that well-rounded individual that I mentioned before. So we work really, really hard to prepare students in all sorts of avenues and areas to make sure that when they leave, either at the end of year 11 or at the end of year 13, they have a big bunch of keys to open as many doors to as many pathways as possible. Now, some of this information in some ways isn't new because the new grading system and the, the reform of exams has been going on for a few years now. But it is something that's really important to reiterate because any adults watching this video, including myself, um, the exams that students are now sitting are a lot harder than they ever were. Now, this has been in operation for a few years now. But again, we want to give you some security that everything we do is preparing them for those Whilst this isn't the only currency that they will want to leave with because their CVs and their personal character are also important, we work really, really hard to make sure that these exams can be accessed at the end of year, year 11 and year 13. And that also drills down to our curriculum at year 7 to 9 as well because we need to prepare them for those exams or those syllabuses that they'll be taking. Part of our curriculum that we deliver is personal development. This is really important to us because of course, GCSEs or A-level outcomes are important, but that holistic development of a child is something that is, is dear to our hearts, and we always make sure that that is at the forefront of our minds. Now, this comes in various forms, whether it's assemblies or tutor times, but we also have a personal development uh, curriculum that is delivered in bespoke lessons at years 7 to 9. And then in years 10, 11, 12 and 13, we make sure that we approach bigger functional days where they can access some of those personal development based qualities. Culture is really important to us because it is the way you think and act or in interact. So all of the staff in the building are always really prominent with their high quality conversations, for example, because any bit of guidance and advice, whether it's just something to do with academic progress uh, or in a lesson or whether it's bigger than that, whether it's character development, those high quality conversations that impact on our culture are something that we want to pay real attention to every single day. Now, some of you who have a child at the Academy already might have seen this picture before, and I'm definitely getting closer to finding him. I think I'm going to get him to be a student. I think I know where his location is. So, but resilience and success is something that is, again, key to society, um, especially in these times we find ourselves at the moment. But as we all know, success doesn't come instantly. Um, you do have to work at it. And, and we like to give students the opportunities and skills to build up that resilience and that culture so that make sure that when something goes wrong, they have the mindset to try again and try something different to make it happen. Why do we do it? We do it because of outcomes like these. Um, we've been really, really proud of our destinations over the last few years um, because they are increasing in variety and also quality. Um, we had our first successful Cambridge applicant uh, last academic year but one, um, but it's not just about those higher echelons. 
the destinations that students are achieving here are, are really impressive um, and I urge you to see more information on our website about that because the, the, the range um, and the support that students are given um, is, is something that we're really proud of. The Student Senate is a really important part of the Academy, not just for the individuals involved each academic year on the Senate, but the leadership that we also promote within the Academy, because we like to give students opportunities to show leadership or experience leadership, whether it's for themselves or from other people. I've had the pleasure of working with different Student Senates over the last couple of years, and I've been hugely impressed. They bring to me things that are going well in the academy um, and things that we could maybe replicate elsewhere. Um, but they all think, bring to me maturely things that they think could be a bit better or maybe things we haven't thought about because they've seen it maybe on social media or they've experienced it in other areas of their lives. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm sure many academies um, reiterate this, but it is important to us. We do have really high standards, but we do it because we want the best for the students. We want them to be that well-rounded individual to make sure when they move forward to employment um, or whether it's to do with an interview of some sort, that they are ready for that. So if we do ask you for your support in regards to behaviour or attendance or anything like that, please work with us because it's really important. I often talk about a, a triangle of success. And the triangle of success is the student sits at the top of that triangle with staff in the building and parents and carers supporting that holistic development to make sure that we can get to those high standards we all want. So just a few things to run through in regards to our ethos. There is no them and us in this building. Um, examples of that are there's no staff room. Um, all staff work in the faculties in their preparation time, which means students have access to them all the time. So that might be sixth form students studying in their, in their self-study, um, but it also might mean they're able to support in lessons where there's a, a learning problem that can be solved and resolved with an extra adult in the building. Another example is the fact that staff have to queue with students for the restaurant. Um, so we, we like to have that parity um, and that commonality to make sure that the students and staff are treated the same. Personal development I've mentioned already and I've talked about the programme that we run. Um, more details of that can be found on our website. Um, but the other areas to say how much of our ethos is important to us are the open study areas. But also when we're able to, we're also going to reopen the residentials and trips because we feel a broad and balanced educational experience is really important. Session sixes, which is our session after school, um, they can be based around academic or enrichment based activities. And again, we are running that at the moment. And as soon as the COVID restrictions um, are released or we find other ways of doing it, like virtually, um, we will start to increase those again. But again, we're really proud of the enrichment and the opportunities after school as well as lessons. The curriculum, I've mentioned it before, but our Key Stage 3 curriculum is a three-year curriculum, year seven to nine, where they'll get to experience a range of subjects. And, and they'll also have the knowledge and the information to make good choices for when they're moving through to options in years 10 and 11. Now that information is, comes from teachers, it comes through presentation evenings from ourselves, and we'd like to make sure that you and the child has as much information and experience to make a good decision. Our growing sixth form is really impressive as well. Our attainment in the sixth form has increased significantly over the last couple of years. And again, that's really helping with their destinations. And also our sixth form is a growing provision with excellent facilities and teaching. Just some advice on admissions. Now, this information is on our web page um, for admissions. So you might have seen it already, but I'm going to just run through a few things for you. So an important date for the diary, please don't forget it, is Saturday the 5th of December. At the moment, that is our um, GL assessment date. Um, so that will be important that all students um, attend that because students who do not sit the test, they are offered a place after those who did sit the test. Another important date is the fact that you will be informed on the week beginning the 23rd of November about the um, GL assessments. Please keep in mind and look out for that. Um, and if you have any questions regarding that information, from Thursday the 26th of November um, through to Wednesday the 2nd of December, um, uh, Hannah Clark will be available from the Trust to answer any questions and her contact details will be on the letter that you receive. 
Now this information again is on our website, um, but it's just informing you based on the COVID-19 restrictions and possibilities in the future that we're constantly reviewing our admissions procedure. So if there are any changes in regards to the GL assessment or how we're going to admit students, you will be informed of that. So please keep an eye on our website for any information if that changes. Okay, so that's it from me. Um, I hope you've managed to have a chance to catch the virtual tour as well. If you haven't, see our website and you'll find lots of information and get to get, have a feel about what the building looks like and the experiences that students have. Okay, so that's it from me. Um, I hope you enjoyed that um, and we look forward to hearing or seeing from you soon. Okay, bye-bye.